Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. Today, almost 10% of infants and toddlers carry excess weight, and slightly more than 20% of children between the ages of 2 and 5 are already overweight or obese. Childhood Obesity Prevention, Inc. is addressing this serious health issue. Here to talk with us is director and founder Karen McKinney. Karen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us, and we appreciate the opportunity. So tell us about the problem of childhood obesity. Childhood obesity is a really big problem in, the, uh, in, in our communities in the United States. Um, we have, uh, as you stated, uh, slightly 20% of children between the ages of two and five are already overweight. And this causes, it put them on a path of health issues. Mm -hmm. The health issues uh, that was once confined in adults are now with children. You have uh, diabetes, uh, high cholesterol, uh, heart diseases, and, and um, et cetera, et cetera. It is a big problem. Also, with children having these uh, health issues, comes with uh, low self-esteem and depression. And what we're doing, uh, our acronym is COP, Childhood, uh, Childhood Obesity Prevention, what we're doing is having a series of fundraisers so we could um, put out there in the communities to the parents. That's where it starts. It starts with the parents and their families so they can understand what you can do to prevent um, obese children. So you um, founded the organization. Yes. Mm -hmm. How did you decide to do that? Well, in as a single parent, I was raising my daughter and she carries the obesity genes. And with that, I knew that I had to try to do something to keep that uh, the, the weight down. I put her in exercise, and that's the thing that uh, parents don't do. Children are not in, in, in any exercise events. They don't do anything like they used to. Um, they just, they eat. There's just a lot of processed foods out there. Uh, they don't um, do anything, extracurricular activities. And so what I did with my daughter, I put her in uh, dance classes um, when she was four years old. And uh, eight so she years can have later, fun and keep fit. Yes, but she eight years she was in dancing. Um, she didn't really care for it. Mm -hmm. Eight years later, what was the thing for her? And I knew that we still had to find the the uh, exercise key was uh, cheerleading. She's a cheerleader, uh, sideline cheerleader, and a competitive cheerleader. That was her niche, and she took that to the highest form. I put her in um, uh, gymnastics, and from that, it just went. So I started that this uh, organization in 2013 when I saw what the key uh, pieces are. Vegetables and exercise. That, they are the two key pieces of uh, uh, um, elements that keep your, the weight down for children. They so have to right move. Eating right and, and staying healthy they, and staying fit and yes. active. And they, they have to move. Kids can't just see it. My, my daughter's plugged in just like any, uh, all, all children. They have the, uh, the, the television going. They have their, their, their phone. They have the, the um, computer, all of that. But then you have to put that down, and then you have to get out there and move. So you are an educator by training and mm -hmm. working with parents to give them information about how to engage their children in, in healthy lifestyles. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about that. We're educating the parents, letting them know, you don't need a lot of money to do this. This is very simple. You know, we're letting them know that some things that you are doing that's incorrect, as such as uh, having your daughter go to, or your children to go to uh, sleep with uh, juicy uh, boxes in their, in their mouth. That's, that's a no-no. Um, never mind, it's the sugar that's going into their body. They're not moving, so the sugar is just going to sit there. Then you're going to have a dental problem because of the um, sugar in their teeth. And so it also keeps parents from going to the emergency room. When you're trying to find out what's going on with little Johnny, little Susan, the problem is, is that you are allowing them to eat at midnight um, 
you know, fatty foods. It's not even good for adults, let alone children. And, and youth is no longer on your side. You know, it used to be, they say, oh, they're young, you know, youth is no longer on your side. It is a really big problem. So what we're doing is educating them of how to diet, bad word, lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing to, 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 to let them know that a lifestyle change. Yes, you go to McDonald's on Monday, you went to McDonald's on Tuesday. Okay, now Wednesday, we have to do something differently because you can't do that every single day. And just like adults, you know, I like a cheeseburger with two slices of bacon and cheese, just like everybody else. Moderation. But, exactly, you can't do that every day and neither can a, a two-year-old, three-year-old, five-year-old. It shows up. When I hear um, parents say that, uh, uh, that their daughter passed away at 27, and my, my first thing is, was she overweight? They said, yeah. And that's, you don't die at 27. It, it, it can't be. Let, let's get these children moving. Let's, let's get them in um, activities uh, after school. Let's get them on the, uh, the soccer field. Is there a way that our viewers can get involved with COP? Oh, with yes. With the work they that can, you're doing? Yes, they can um, uh, email us at info at copthis.org. Um, to volunteer, we are getting, um, we get emails daily on um, people want to volunteer and they are volunteering for our event that we're having um, on Friday um, to, to, to help us out. So well, info it sounds at like a, a fabulous cause. Yes. Certainly we want to keep our kids on the path to healthy behaviors. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here to talk with thank us you. about COP and the work that you're doing today. And thank you for having us. We appreciate uh, your having us here and getting the word out of what we do and um, and that's save some children. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar and we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.